In this set of videos, we'll look at embedding Quadio into consumer devices such as a smartphone. Now, to do this, what I've done is I've made up this little model. It's, uh, it's just made of cardboard, and it's the, uh, roughly the size and uh, dimensions of an Apple iPhone 4. Um, and what I've done is I've uh, embedded this uh, little quad mic into it. It's important that the microphones um, have access to, uh, to space, if you like, on either side of the microphone, although for sure you could put a foam covering around this or other, uh, some other uh, uh, acoustically transparent barrier on top of it as well. Um, this is really important because uh, conventional beamforming microphones that rely on phase delays, uh, they're going to get confused by diffraction around hard boundaries, hard surfaces. So it's important when uh, uh, when investigating these effects that you actually just uh, try and do it. You, did, did you actually embed the array inside the device that you're, uh, that you're modeling? So this will give us a pretty good idea of what Quadio would sound like if it were to be embedded inside a smartphone device. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so um, I've put Quadio into this uh, cell phone here, and at the moment I'm, I've programmed Quadio to listen and to and capture sounds from every angle around the phone. So now it doesn't matter which way I hold the phone, I can be holding it like this or like this or like this, and uh, it will still capture my voice. Now here's a, one example of how you might want to use Quadio. Imagine you uh, wanted to have it in a, some sort of privacy mode. Um, imagine a situation where you want to say something to somebody in the room, but that you don't want the person uh, on the phone to hear you. So uh, what are you going to do? Well, one thing you could do is you could have a setting on your phone that was in privacy mode. This means that uh, uh, your f the person who, that you're speaking to on the phone will only hear things uh, that it's intended to hear, that is to say, uh, sounds uh, 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 on this side of the phone. So what are you going to do about it? Well, you know, people do lots of things. One thing they might do, for example, is they might hold it down here. Well, that doesn't work particularly well. These are sensitive microphones. You could try and hold it over there and, uh, you know, that makes a bit of a difference as well. But, you know, again, still these are sensitive devices. So what we could do, however, is we could program Quadio so that it listens only to the dominant angle coming on this side of the mobile phone. And that's what I'm going to program it to do now. Okay, so uh, Quadio is programmed now so that it's uh, only going to be listening to uh, the dominant sound on uh, this side of the mobile phone. What this means is as I move the phone away from my mouth, uh, my voice will disappear and you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to keep on talking and then as I move my phone... Again, uh, let me just repeat that. What I just said was that there'll come a point, there'll come an angle, if you like, uh, beyond which uh, you won't be able to hear my voice. So, um, where is it? It's probably or anything that I'm saying. Okay. Um, uh, as you can see, I'm not holding Quadio in any particular way. This is how I would normally hold my cell phone. Um, some people hold it different ways. I know some people uh, uh, hold it away from their mouth or they, they hold it down at these angles as well. Th this is all possible. Remember, pro uh, with Quadio, Quadio can track and isolate sounds uh, regardless of, of where they are in, in, in any 360 degrees uh, around the phone. Um, uh, let me show you that again. This time I'm going to be shouting into the phone from the rear side. So imagine you wanted to have a real rant at somebody on your phone, but you didn't want them to hear what you were uh, saying. Then this is how you might do it. So, uh, so what I was just doing was I was shouting into my mobile phone from the other side, but you couldn't hear what I was saying. Okay, so uh, enough of this. Uh, let me show you something a little bit fun. So what I've done now is I've uh, designed this uh, quad mic so that uh, my voice is going uh, into uh, one of your ears but not into the other. Um, this, but the sounds that are on the other side of the microphone, they will go into your opposite ear. So watch this. So now, for example, when I talk into the phone on this side, it will go into one ear. But then when I come around onto this side, uh, my voice will flip over and it will be on the other channel. So I can be either talking to you on this side or onto this side. This could be really important, for example, uh, if you're... Um, speaking to somebody and you're doing things like a real-time uh, voice translation, for example, or transcription, where the deconvolution of overlapping speakers is probably one of the most uh, uh, toughest problems, if you like, in, uh, in speech recognition at the moment. Uh, with Quadio, however, you can have a microphone uh, that will uh, uh, automatically uh, separate one voice into one ear while sending the other into another ear. Okay. 
So let's do a quick experiment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, sounds from both of these speakers, and you need to try and tell me which of them is playing Woody Allen. Uh, so one is an interview with Woody Allen, and the, and the, and the other is um, a BBC News interview. Um, and just to make it even harder, I'm going to be talking as well. Now, to start with, the first time we do it, the first time we do this experiment, I'm going to be uh, uh, just using an omnidirectional microphone. So the sounds that you're listening to now and during the experiment are coming from this uh, quad mic that I've embedded into this uh, smartphone model. Now, at the moment, uh, Quadio switched off. So it doesn't matter uh, how, how I turn this uh, microphone, you're going to hear the same thing. So when I turn the music on, uh, you're going to have the challenge of telling me which speaker is playing Woody. Is it this one or is it this one? And secondly, I want you to answer a question, and that is, what is it that makes Woody happy? What makes him happy in life? Uh, and just to make it even harder, I'm going to be talking over it as well. So you're going to have three sounds uh, to listen to. Me and these two speakers as well. Okay, here it goes. I do, there are a number of recommendations which have been put together by a steering So, again, what I want you to do is to tell me um, which speaker is Woody. Uh, is Woody here or is Woody over there? And can you hear what he's saying as well? Um, particularly, I'm interested in what it is that makes him happy. What is it that makes this guy uh, happy? Um, or if you're that interested, you can also be listening to the BBC interview as well. What are the BBC guys talking about? But really, uh, what I want you to do is to tell me what it is that makes Woody happen. Now you'll notice it doesn't matter which way I hold the phone, uh, you're going to hear the same thing. Okay, so what is it that makes Woody happen? Can you tell me that at the end of this experiment? Okay, so you got that? Now let's do it again. This time I'm going to use Quadio, and I've programmed Quadio uh, to create a polar pattern that looks something like this. Now you'll notice uh, it's a figure of eight microphone, a stereo figure of eight microphone. The point being, I want it to send one sound uh, from this direction and uh, into one ear, and sounds from this direction into your other ear, whilst it will be deaf to sounds that are coming from this. So it should be blocking my voice whilst separating these two speakers. Okay, here goes. Uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, switch on Quadio now, and we'll do the test again. This I do, there are a number of recommendations which have been put together by a steering committee under the Carol Sargent's speakers. Lincoln, the FSA, has also formally had a risk at Lloyd's Group of Supermarket Groups for the Commission of the PPI Miss Selling. So perhaps he's most qualified to look at this. The first set of products are an easy access savings account, a 30 day savings account, a regular savings account, and a fixed term life insurance plan. Carol Sargent, good morning to you. What were you tasked with doing? What the principles? The key issue um, is that we have a situation where a significant portion of the population are underprovided in terms of financial protection. So when they have financial shocks. Okay, so hopefully you correctly identified that Woody was uh, uh, playing out from this speaker over here, uh, while the BBC News uh, was coming out from uh, the speaker as well. And uh, hopefully you were also able to uh, uh, listen to Woody clearly. Um, by all means, uh, you can cheat as well. If you're listening to this on headphones, you can uh, remove one of the cups of your uh, headphones and listen to one channel separately from the other. That's uh, not really cheating. You can do that if you want. Uh, the whole point is that uh, with Quadio, you have control over what you listen to. Um, were this to be a normal microphone and a normal cell phone, uh, you would have no control over what you were listening to, but I've just given you the ability uh, simply by uh, using pan control on your uh, computer or on your headset uh, to listen to one conversation or another. And uh, I also uh, eliminated my voice as well. From here, uh, you might get a bit of um, feed, uh, leakage of uh, my, my voice um, through the microphone. That's because uh, I've not done anything to calibrate this uh, uh, this. Uh, 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 this microphone array. Uh, so there will be a little bit of um, uh, a leakage of signal through, uh, but still I think uh, it should be a lot more intelligible than it was uh, in the first version. Okay, so there we go. I've, uh, with the flick of a switch, I've now um, switched on binaural. Now binaural has nothing to do with Quadio. Quadio is a recording technology, not a rendering technology. 
But by virtue of the fact that Quadio knows where a sound is coming from, what angle it's coming in at, at any angle, in any direction, in any, in any uh, sphere, if you like, it means that we can process it to recreate that sound in your ears as you would hear it. So if you compare the sound to the stereo that, they heard, that you heard earlier, I think it's a little bit more natural. So uh, this is me on this side of the microphone, and uh, now I'm going to switch over to this side and uh, back here uh, onto this side. You'll notice that there's absolutely no time delay, really. There's no learning involved in this. Uh, it's a nearly deterministic algorithm. Quadio is nearly deterministic, so there's no uh, a real delay. It doesn't matter how quickly I move my head around. Um, Quadio, will, uh, Quadio will quite happily catch up. Just so, just watch again. I'm going to be uh, talking gently into, this, uh, into uh, your ear on this side, and then as I come around, uh, my voice is going to reappear on this side. Uh, so I hope that's a little bit more natural effect than uh, what you saw with the stereo effects earlier. So, there we go. This is Quadio, a stereo mic with binaural rendering. Smartphones are a great way for capturing impromptu videos. And over the past 10 years, the visual quality of these cameras has really improved dramatically through innovations such as dark side illumination CMOS. But what about the audio? Well, generally, we're limited to omnidirectional, monaural, or single channel recordings. In this example, I'll show how Quadio can be used to support at least one audio application, namely the capture of sounds coming from your audience or your actors whilst ignoring the sounds that are made by the camera operator, him or herself. So, what I've done is I've mounted this little quad mic right next to my uh, smartphone here and uh, later I'll be using this uh, to film a scene. Now this will give you a pretty good idea of what your, your smartphone would sound like if it had Quadio installed inside it. Then what we'll do is we'll compare it with the sound that's been recorded by the smartphone itself. Okay so here's the setup. I'm going to use these speakers to represent the actors if you like, the subjects of my video. Now we're going to do the experiment twice. First, we're going to listen to the sounds recorded or captured by my smartphone itself. And as I walk around behind the smartphone, you will continue to hear my voice. Now, maybe you want that. Maybe if you're narrating a scene, for example, you want to be capturing your voice. But sometimes you might want to uh, not hear yourself talking. You might not want to hear what's going on behind the camera. In other words, if you can see it, then you want to be able to hear it. But vice versa, if you can't see it, then you don't want to see it. Uh, you don't want to hear it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to program Quadio so that it will only listen to sounds that it can see, or that the cell phone itself can see. Okay, so just to, just to remind you, at the moment you're listening to uh, my voice recorded by the, smart, by the microphone in my smartphone itself. I'm going to introduce the music and then walk around behind, and you will continue to hear my voice, this interference, if you like, from my voice, because it's an omnidirectional microphone in the smartphone. So here we go, and I'm going to, I'm going to play some music now. Okay, so here we go. The music's playing. The music is um, about the same loudness, I would say intensity, probably a little bit louder actually than my voice. Um, and I'm going to walk around behind the phones. Uh, so as I continue to walk around, uh, you, you continue to hear my voice. Um, it's an omnidirectional microphone, remember, so you will continue to hear my voice. So even though I'm not in the picture, you can still hear my voice. Um, and there we go, I'm going to return again, and uh, there we are, back again. Okay, let's try that, this time using Podmite. Okay, so now I'm going to walk around the side, and my voice will disappear from the, uh, from the audio. So, I walk Okay, so um, hopefully that demonstrated that uh, when I walked around to the far side of the smartphone, you couldn't hear what I said. Quario was invented by Banu Gunal, Hussein Hachihababoglu, and Amit Kondos at the University of Surrey, and me, David Nugent, at Elucidaire. Quadio is the subject of international patent filings. To discuss licensing opportunities, please contact me, David Nugent, at the email address shown here.